Welcome to Little Steps Big Gains. In this video, we're going to talk about an evidence-based intervention called cooling-induced tremor reduction. When it comes to tremors, there are two main types. We have resting and action. Now, the most common clinical presentation of a resting tremor is seen in Parkinson's disease. Action tremors, however, are tremors elicited by action. This could be postural, such as an essential tremor, or with goal-directed movements, like an intention or a cerebellar tremor. Research is showing that cooling can be a modality to reduce certain types of action tremors, such as seen in multiple sclerosis, essential tremor, and some forms of ataxia with cerebellar tremors. Research articles to support that are linked in the description below, as well as a journal article called A Cool Approach to Tremor Reduction. For individuals in the study, tremors were reduced up to an hour and a half to two hours in length. How do you implement this modality? Well, all you need is an ice pack. I would wrap it in a pillowcase or a towel, and then you just lay it, rest it, wrap it around the forearm for 10 to 15 minutes. The research really supports cooling for multiple sclerosis. That is a neurological condition that is caused from damage or degeneration to the covering of our nerves called myelin. When we have that damage or degeneration, the nerve conduction velocity is either slowed or blocked. So it's hypothesized that cooling can improve that nerve conduction velocity, reducing tremors. But what about other neurological conditions like essential tremor, cerebellar, or Parkinson's disease? For Parkinson's disease, research is currently being conducted on cooling at the time of this video. Now, in my personal practice, I have not found this to be as effective. However, research has yet to be published. Now, I personally have found cooling to be effective for essential tremors and some form of cerebellar tremors. Cerebellar tremors come from different types of ataxia, so I have found it to be effective for some and not others. But here are some samples I have collected from some of my patients and some individuals in the community. All of the following samples are before and after 10 minutes of forearm cooling. Essential tremors, spirals. For multiple sclerosis, spirals on the top, handwriting on the bottom, patient reporting significant improvement in writing speed. For Guillain-Barre, spirals on the top and handwriting on the bottom. Cerebellar ataxia, handwriting samples. Cerebellar ataxia, handwriting and spiral samples. So what are some real life applications here? Well, for individuals who find this effective, go ahead and grab your ice pack, ice ahead of an event. Like if you're going out to dinner with colleagues or sitting down to write letters to friends. Now for more information on how other forms of cooling, like cooling vests, can help with multiple sclerosis, check out a video linked in the description below. There are other educational videos on tremors also linked below. And that is how to implement a cooling-induced tremor reduction modality. If you found this educational, please like, subscribe, share with others. My link to Patreon is in that description below. And then check out other free educational videos and free home exercise programs here on Little Steps, Big Gains.